This is a Game Caviar production. Oh, you gotta love the sound in this game. It just sounds good. This is, of yeah, course, you know what this is. I, I, I was having so much fun with this game. Like I had a, I had a match that that was before this, and it was on Hijack, the uh, High Jinx. That it should it should be called High Jinx. As much fun as you have on that map, but it was it was the boat, you know, and, and it was hard point because this is like my new favorite um, uh, game mode, and uh, this guy had one of those assault shells, a riot shell, whatever it's called in this game. And this dude, he came like around the corner. I was on the back end of the boat and he came around the corner and he hit me with it. And I, I was out of bullets because I, I, I freaked, I panicked and I started shooting him. And he literally chased me from one end of the boat all the way to the other. And I would like, I, I would run and you, you can't run and reload in this game for some stupid reason. So I would run a little, he would chase after me, and he would hit me with it, and then between him hitting me with the shield and me running, I would be able to heal just enough. I ended up killing him on the other side of the boat. I was laughing hysterically, and I wanted to make a video of that, but uh, Treyarch uh, shut down the, uh, the the theater mode because some somebody was glitching the game for 10th Prestige or whatever. And until they, they release a patch, you're not going to be able to use theater mode. That's what I got from the internet. I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to call Trail and ask them what the deal is because, you know, whatever. It's, it's probably, it's 90% bullshit. This M27 gun that I'm using is really, I'm, I'm starting to like this gun. And I really am. You see this match and it seems like I'm getting, you know, really dealt a bad hand here. And I was lagging really bad in this match. Honestly, the match before that, when I was getting chased by a salt shield, man, uh, <laughs> I actually was, I did pretty good, you know? I don't know what that gun is. It's like an automatic shotgun almost. And uh, I don't like the way the shotguns in this game are, I think they're more powerful than grenades and, and damn uh, RPGs. Like they are, I mean, it's, it's almost like shotguns should be a kill streak in this game. Like if you have a shotgun, you're almost in invincible. Yeah, especially if you get the first shot. I mean, it's it's, it's over. Like the guy with the and, and this, the guy with the shotgun is is like he's crap. I think that was him again. But that one right there is like I killed the dude that was behind the guy that shot me. Now, how is that man? How, how does that work out? I didn't kill the guy who killed me, but the guy that was standing behind him that was across the room, he got killed. This guy right here with the damn knives, knife man. It, it's almost like it was a bunch of damn. It, it was. Poorly named supervillains in playing online tonight. I had a salt shield man who chased me around a damn boat for half the damn match. He kept showing up and it was just back and forth, back and forth. And now you got damn uh, combat knife hooligan that was giving me trouble in this match. And it was just back and forth, man. Like I, I was, I was doing more laughing than anything else tonight. And it's normally like I'd, I'd rage little and do some rage quitting, blah blah blah. You know, it's Call of Duty. That really, that literally comes. Go, with the territory go. i'm surprised they haven't made it like an achievement or a uh, or give you like a player card or something that has something to do with rage quitting because they should yeah, you know and he go again is this him is this him hold on hold on what's going on here is this him yeah that's him look i mean i don't understand how i mean it just defies logic how you can have no gun equipped at all it's just a knife and you you can just kill people that are just laying but i mean i was absolutely emptying bullets into this guy and it was nothing you know he just shrugged it off he's like i don't care your bullets are, they don't mean anything to me i'm gonna take this care package because i'm a thief and this guy i mean he killed me but i got your okay i guess that's his care package i don't equip counter uavs because i, I don't know it's just i'm using a uav the Hunter killer drone and um a uh, what is it the the sentry gun which does work in this game and, and it really does it gets you a lot of kills uh, another thing that gets you a lot of kills is the the warthog the a10 <clears throat> I managed to get one of those on hijinks and uh, uh hijacked hijinks <laughs> and uh it, it got me a lot of kills and it's actually really cool because the guy the pilot of the plane talks to you. Uh, when he's doing his runs and it also happens too with that uh they have a what is it an escort helicopter or some shit i don't, I don't know man I, I just got one like i stole somebody's care package and it was an escort helicopter and they talked to you that's just something that they added to the game they add like a bunch of stuff to this game to these call of duty games all treyarch does to, uh, um, infinity war they're a bunch of damn idiots i don't i yeah i wouldn't trust them to make me toast let alone a damn game like modern warfare 3 was that that was it 
That was it. You ever get to that point where you're like, yeah, I think we're done here. I think we're done. And that was it. That was the point. When I played that game, I put so much time into that game, and it never got better. I was like, yeah, I, I think we're done here. But anyway, Treyarch does a good job of adding, like, a lot of things into the game. And that's just one of the things that is, that is awesome. I got killed teabag, and it serves me, serves me right. I mean, that's like, I don't know. Uh, poetic justice, as they say. Uh, but yeah, they, they just they add certain things. Look at this guy. He, I mean, somebody else had to kill him because I ran out of bullets. That's how strong he is with that damn knife. I don't. I mean, it's almost like it gives you a force field around you, an invisible force field that deflects bullets. And I tried to do the same thing because I was like, hell, if he can do it, so can I. And surprisingly, I got out of a couple sticky situations until I got caught in the middle of a gun battle that I was not going to be able to to win. But uh, but anyway. Yeah, here goes Assault Shotgun, man. Uh, you got Assault Shotgun, man. Uh, what is it? The, the uh, damn it, the Battle Knife Hooligan and, and uh, what? no, no, it was a Combat Knife Hooligan and Assault Shotgun, man. Those, those are my three nemesis today. I caught that guy just eating his lunch. Um, but yeah, this M27, I really like this gun. It has uh, manageable recoil, and it's an assault rifle, which is like, um, which is surprising because assault rifles in this in this game are they're pretty much useless. The M27 is the only assault rifle that I have used that has been consistently good. Like I can really have good matches. See, look at that. I mean, I just turned on that guy. He's probably lagging worse than me. But uh, but yeah, it's, this is the only assault rifle that I can use and have consistent, decent to good, and sometimes great matches with. And I'm glad uh, there are there's that one LMG and I think it's like the last one you unlock and that that one is really good uh, but I, I don't like the way they make you you're slower with the LMG and I don't like that uh, I like the assault right I like the, only the M27 and almost every SMG the Scorpion being the best one uh, out of them all um, you know and like I said, in this game, if you have an assault rifle, you you pretty much have a, a water gun besides the M27. Now, all the rest of them are pretty much useless. Uh, I thought the SCAR was going to be really good. It's not. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this game. It's like you, you get uh, assault rifles or water guns, uh, shotguns or kill streaks. Uh, SMGs are like your basic all-around, um, you know, kill machine guns. And I, I just don't, I don't get it, man. I don't, I don't, and it. They really, they I don't know whether they're going to release a patch to really balance these guns out or anything, you know. Uh, you would think that, you, like I was thinking, before they released this game, you would think that Treyarch should have known that these guns were so off balance. I don't understand how they managed to miss something that big. It's like you're making a first-person shooter game and um, the guns are so off balance. How do you do that when the guns are such a, a major part of a shooting game? Like, I don't understand... Maybe they were just running around with knives the whole time in, in, in assault shields. That's why they make you so uh, invincible. Look at this guy. But yeah, I don't, I don't keep up with all the the patch notes and all that crap. I don't. If they release a patch, they release a patch. I, normally, if I turn on my PS3 and it says the patch has been uh, installed for Black Ops 2, then I go online and I see what it is, and then I'll go from there. But I, I don't know. I don't think. I, I don't even think it's going to be an issue. I don't know what happened here. I, I thought that guy that was right there next to me was on the same team. Apparently, either, I, I mean, I don't know. The, the shotgun guy, he has a way of disguising himself as a member of the same team. Can't run through water. You might as well just walk around. Uh, but Hardpoint, I like Hardpoint. It's really good. It's, it's fun. It's fast-paced. Hardpoint, if you hadn't played Hardpoint, it's like a headquarters, but if you capture the Hardpoint and you die, you respawn. It's not like um, uh, headquarters where, where if your team has it, then you have to uh, wait till it's destroyed to um, to uh, respawn. Um, but yeah, I like Hardpoint. I'm going to stick with Hardpoint. Hardpoint and Kill Confirmed are like my two favorite, but Hardpoint has a slight edge over Kill Confirmed right now because it's so awesome and so fast-paced, and that's what I like about Call of Duty most. I ran into a grenade. Uh, I was just, man, I just got a bunch of bad breaks in this match. Uh, I think I ended up going 23 and 26, and you know during the match I didn't think I was going to do that. Good. I thought it went like like 17 and 44 uh, the way I was playing in my point of view through the match. But 
I guess I was obviously wrong. But anyway, like this video, comment on this video. Um, I'll, I'll get. I'll, I'll see you guys later on. I'll make another video later on. Uh, I'm not having any game caviar studios, and I'm out. This has been a game caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.